Hello students. Danas ćemo učiti o članovima u engleskom jeziku. Ovaj digitalni obrazovni sadržaj je namijenjen svim učenicima drugih razreda srednje škole. Poslušajte što sam pripremila za vas. Tema današnjeg sata su articles ili članovi. Nakon današnjeg sata vi ćete moći razlikovati određene od neodređenih članova i odrediti kada nam uopće ne treba član. Također, vredit ćete kada se uz nazive mjesta koriste, a kada ne koriste članovi. Za današnji sat će vam biti potreban vaš učbenik. Prelazimo na lekciju 10, All Things High Tech i posebice stranica 77, Practice, Articles, A, An, The, No Article i One. Što su to članovi doznačete u ovoj definiciji? To je riječ koja na neki način modificira imenicu. Bilo da je to osoba, mjesto, objekt ili neka ideja. An article defines a noun as specific or unspecific. Daje vam pobliže ili dalje značenje. Pogledat ćete video iz kojega ćete... Točnije doznati što su to člana. Zaustavite ovdje na ovom mjestu video, a onda kopirajte poveznicu na YouTube-u te pogledajte sljedeći video. Nakon videa ćemo provjeriti vaše razumijevanje članova. Pa što smo doznali iz videa? What have you learned from the video? First, there are definite and indefinite articles. But we need to explain them further. The indefinite articles, a, an, are used. First, to say what something or somebody is. This is a dog. I am a teacher, he is an optimist, I am an astronaut. Second, to refer to a thing or a person for the first time. When we speak about something for the first time, I bought a pair of shoes today, she lives in a skyscraper, he is going out with a surgeon. To refer to a thing or person when it doesn't matter which one. Shall we go for a swim? Can you lend me a pen? This pen can be any pen. Just simple pen. From anybody, any pen. It is not defined. Let's go further. Now. When do we use a and when do we use an? Surely you have noticed that it, it depends on the sound with which the word starts. If a word starts with a consonant sound, like cat, ball, it needs a. But if it starts with a vowel sound, apple, astronaut, then we need an. However, sometimes there are situations like this. When a vowel letter but consonant sound or when a consonant letter but vowel sound, what do we do then? We use a with university because we have consonant sound. So we rely on sounds, not letters, sounds. A European country, we have the vowel here, but when you pronounce it, you get a sound. A consonant letter, 
but a vowel sound. We have consonant H and H here, but when we pronounce it, we say an hour, an honest man. This really seems like a lot of rules, and I don't mind if you say that this is difficult, but some things really come naturally. Saying a hour or an university doesn't really sound right, does it? Now, let's talk about definite article. Definite article, the, is used first to refer to a person or a thing known to the speaker and the listener. So when we know somebody, unlike the previous situation where we didn't know anybody, now when we know somebody or something, then we use the. Have you got the car keys? The dogs are in the garden. So we know which dogs and we know what garden. When we refer to a person or a thing for the second time, then we use the. For the first time, we use a. For the second time, the. Why? Because the first time we talked about it, it was just a thing. Now we know it, so it is the thing. Let's try to read this example. I got a book and a computer for Christmas. The book is about the British Empire. I haven't unpacked the computer yet. Third, when it is clear which ones we mean. I'm, I'll meet you at the corner. I'm going to the gym. So this means that you know at which corner you're going to meet this person and that the person knows where the particular gym is. Then to refer to the only thing there is. So we have the only one Mother Earth. The Earth is older than we think. The sky is the sky is very great today. So we have only one particular thing: the Earth, the sky. Number five to refer to things in our physical environment that we all know. I love walking the country, the country. We can see the sea from the house. So this environment is something that we have already been familiar, familiarized with. And this is why we use the. So now let's do a little bit of exercise. I'm pretty sure you'll do your best and you'll, you will solve this easily. I bought what? The, a, un, pair of sneakers. What do you say? Of course, a pair of sneakers. They are staying at a, the, what do you think? Hotel. At a hotel. But this is I told you about it, so you know this. You already know this. This is the flower I told you about. I read what kind of a story? Amazing. An amazing story yesterday. I was in an Italian restaurant, Indian restaurant. But now we refer to the restaurant for the second time. The restaurant served excellent food. I would like a piece of cake. Look at the cat over there. It is sleeping. So we see the cat. That is why we know it. 
there's also one thing that is called zero article, which means there are occasions when we don't put any article in front of a word. So when does this happen? Nemamo člana when we refer to the things or people in general. Things, I'm afraid of spiders, like in general. Doctors earn more than teachers, like a group of people in general. In some common expressions with places, he's at work, I travel by bus, what do you want for dinner? I'll do it next week. With academic subjects, this is what you need for school. I'm no good at math, games, I like chess. In some place names, I live in Station Road, we walked in Hyde Park, I climbed Mount Everest. So, oh, let's try to solve this task. Fill the blank spaces with a, an, the, or zero article. Where are we? We are at a river. So, rivers take article. Let's sail the Danube. Where are we now? We are at one lake, okay? Countries, do they take an article? No. Beautiful lake is Lake Bohin. It doesn't take an article. You can take a cable car up to no, mountains do not have any article. Now, let's watch the following video to revise. What does it say about articles? What does it say about singulars and plurals? Pay attention. Go to your Google search and copy this link and watch the video. After the video, you will have a homework check. Solve this task or solve it for your homework. Good luck. Thank you. These were the sources.